Solana could be on the verge of a breakout. But equally, those bears might drag the price action down a little bit more. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on what I think is likely to unfold here for Solana. As I get into today's video, if you do find it useful and informative, smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe and let's jump right down into today's video. So we're going to kick things off on the smaller time frame here, because I think it's quite important that we reflect on what's going to happen in the very near future versus what's going to happen in the next few weeks and potentially months. So here on the one hour time frame, we have Solana paired up with USDT and we're using the Binance um, you know, exchange for the, for the source data. Now, you can see that on our hourly chart, we have got ourselves in a bit of a triangular wedge pattern. OK, this is something that gets seen time and time again. And these are actually quite inconsistent. They're inconsistent because it does depend on what led into it as to which direction it's likely to break out from. For example, you can break down or you can break on up. It's quite subjective to kind of the analyst who is drawing up the charts. So it's important to note that we are on the verge of a potential breakout. But if those bears do continue to take control of the situation, then I think we're likely to see the opposite come true. Now, let's talk about why the bulls are quite confident. Here we can see that we've had a major pull to the downside, and we've had a little bit of a relief rally for Solana since those lows on the 11th of August. Okay, we've rallied up 6.79%. And of course, we saw extreme volatility dragging us down 5.94% yesterday. Since then, we've been raised sideways finding resistance on the 50 SMA and 50 EMA okay the 50 SMA is the yellow line and the 50 EMA is the blue line now as you can see at the point of recording today's video we're hovering around and trying to find whether we can break through that 50 SMA on this one hour time frame it's a bit of a struggle the bulls and the bears are fighting it out and so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to see initially a rejection of this area this is driven from a stochastic RSI that is also rapidly rapidly moving up into the overbought area. So it's indicating to us that there isn't really a lot of buying pressure pushing that price action higher, i.e. there's not a lot of demand. This is something that we can also see from the volume profiles, as we can see here, the volume profiles are decreasing as we're trying to push on up. This shows that there isn't a lot of demand for buying Solana at these prices. So this is what's going to lead us into a bit of a pull to the downside before we rally to the upside, in my opinion, on the one hour time frame. So no need to kind of think we're going long here because I do think there's going to be a potential opportunity to go long a little bit lower in the price action. Now, I'm not imagining that's going to be a massive move to the downside, but we should be thinking one to two percent is somewhere in the right region in terms of corrections on the one hour time frame. So just bear in mind that although things might look good, uh, we are going to still see some more volatility. As you can see here, we've been rejected here on the SMA quite a few times and we're fighting it once again. And the same for the EMAs, as you can kind of see, fighting it here, fighting it here, and we're fighting it here. So it doesn't look like we're going to break through within the next few hours, but I do think we are going to see a breakthrough in the coming days. OK, so looking good from that kind of point of view, I guess. Now, the concern that I have is although a breakout here is likely to occur and we are more than likely, in my opinion, going after the 200 hourly EMA as our major resistance, we are going to see, unfortunately, a bit more pull to the downside on a much larger time frame. For that, we're going to roll this up into a daily time frame. Here we can see, unfortunately, there is this idea that we haven't yet finished and we haven't yet bottomed out. We are targeting out 93 to 107 dollars now that seems maybe a tad too bearish for some um, but for the most part it's kind of where my expectations are when it comes to solana for the kind of medium time frame this is something that's going to take weeks to play out not something that I think is going to happen instantaneously. As we can see, our stochastic RSI on the daily time frame is looking for a positive cross and a continuation to the upside in line with that idea of a breakout to the upside. OK, so we are looking for a continued move to the upside on the daily time frame. How high is that likely to go? I'm not 100 percent, but I do think we're going to find resistance on that 50 SMA and 50 EMA. These are currently sat at $153 for the SMA and $155 for the EMA. OK, this would represent from its current price approximately five and six percent retrospectively. Now, we might get a wick or so above it, as we had done uh, as 
as you can see, actually, with the candle on the 8th of August, we did rally up a little bit before getting dragged back down. So we want to be mindful that it's still possible that we push up. Uh, if we do get closed positions above the 50 EMA, 50 SMA, and we obviously break into a daily high or new daily high um, here on the daily time frame, then we might actually push up into previous resistances found at around $172. It still does not distract from that bigger bearish move to the downside, but is going to be a breakthrough out of these areas that we've been kind of finding as major resistances for Solana. Okay, so be mindful that uh, although we might find the little bit of a run to the upside, uh, you know, over the next kind of few days, uh, ultimately over the next few weeks, my expectations are that we do see another pull to the downside. And that pull to the downside is going to be a huge opportunity for dollar cost averaging and building out bigger positions in Solana. So just bear that in mind here on the daily time frame. Okay, so that's the expectation. Of course, the higher that our B wave goes here, the higher our lows will come. So um, it's one of those cases where, you know, if the bulls want to really try to push and get behind Solana and push it higher, fantastic. It means that we're not going to have these lows around $93. It might be, you know, $107 to $116 by the time we actually have that next pull to the downside. So you can kind of limit the damage a little bit there um, for long term holders. But for anyone who's buying, I'm not thinking that this is going to be a great place to be thinking about going long on the market, but instead I'll be looking at short positions once we kind of finish this B wave structure off. Now, as I said, our stochastic RSI has some potential momentum to the upside, but it is lower than the 50 level and it is potentially in a bearish place at the moment. So we want to keep in mind that it is Got, it has got the potential still to show us with momentum going in both directions. If we turn that off and bring on the relative strength index, the relative strength index is also lower than the 50 level in a bearish position as well, showing that actually the momentum is shifting to the downside. We haven't yet kind of had any significant surge to the upside on the relative strength index just yet. Okay, so bear that in mind. Now, volume profiles are also quite telling. As we have spoken about before, volumes here are very interesting to say the least. The volumes are very low in comparison and of course, during this entire move to the upside of the B wave so far, volumes have decreased, showing there isn't a huge appetite for buying into Solana as we had this relief rally, indicating that we're likely to find more sell pressure and probably come down into those ranges that we were talking about. So for Solana, expect volatility. It's going to be the message here. Although a breakout of the 50 EMA and 50 SMA on the smaller timeframes is likely, I don't think it's going to be a long term thing. And I am looking for us to pull back into a great accumulation where dollar cost averaging is going to be a fantastic thing to do. As I zoom out of this, you can see the position of this chart is looking very, very healthy. This isn't a bad position to be in at all. And dollar cost averaging around here ahead of a fantastic breakout in a much bigger macro scene isn't a bad idea either. All I'm saying is I think there's going to be better value in due course. Now, if I roll this up into a weekly time frame, on this weekly time frame, you can see just how that's playing out and how this is a part of a much, much, much bigger situation where Solana has some significant potential to perform very well. 688 to 905 or even potentially at $1,200 on that 786 Fibonacci level. That's not to forget about that idea around $2,400 on a one to one ratio. Now, these numbers do seem rather phenomenal considering that it's a significant unlock of Solana tokens in March 2025 in the roundabout, I think it's 7.5 million sold tokens that are fully unlocked, that is going to potentially increase some sell pressure. So how high will Solana move before we see that? is the question. Are we going to reach, you know, only $600 or $900, $1,200? Or are we going to go for that full $2,400 before that unlock happens? When that unlock happens, I do imagine a lot of those VCs are likely to sell into, uh, into this pump to the upside. And basically, we are likely to see a significant sell pressure drag the price action down. But that does not distract us from the bigger potential here that once all that sell pressure is out of the way, Solana is going to be well positioned to take advantage of some of the fantastic things that I think are going to happen in the coming year. So it'll be one of those to keep a close eye on. I do think that Solana is going to see more volatility on the smaller time frame, both pumps and dumps. We're going to see some great opportunities to dollar cost average, build out those positions.
positions, some great trading opportunities as well. Um, but on the bigger picture, from the hodlers perspective, we've got some great potential for some long-term gains. Guys, you can, of course, let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Where do you sit when it comes to Solana? Let me know. And if you found it useful and informative, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And if you haven't done so yet, check out my second channel just up here, where I am discussing Cardano on a day-by-day -day basis.